What up everyone? One up box here and we got this month's box, October. So let's see what we got in this box. So the theme of this one is Nightmare. No surprise. Um, the only bad thing about the month of October, it seems like every single box has the same theme. It's always like Nightmare or Haunted or some kind of Halloween horror type thing. And that's fine, but I, I wish they wouldn't all do the same thing. Like it's we we get it. We get we get enough of the whole Halloween thing. But anyway, we got this month's box. Let's take a look at the shirt. So, crossover, no surprise here. And this is a crossover between Pokemon and Luigi's Haunted Mansion. So, um, as far as quality on this one, not super great. Um, one up box kind of seems like they're reverting back to their old style. They were kind of picking it up for a few months there and doing really great, especially on the t shirt designs. They had some much better designers, but this one kind of seems like their old style of design. So when you look at it, some the line work isn't very well done. This has a very hand drawn feel, which is okay, but this style isn't very nice. And the lines aren't really straight, they're kind of wobbly, and some of them don't connect and there's not very good variation and the coloring's not that great either like Luigi's face is the same color as like the sand behind him and it's like well that's weird it makes Luigi look like a Mexican because he's brown and has a mustache there <laughs> now, I'm not, not trying to be racist or anything but but that's just what he looks like and that's just not his what he looks like in the game so the style on this one was not super and the fit on this one is not great either they use the heavy cotton style and it just looks very awkward, it has huge sleeves and it's very short, so this this is kind of how they used to be. They used they had like the weird crossovers with not good artwork and things like that. So uh, I hope they don't continue with this. Whoever is designing this style is not their best choice. The past two months were good, but this one not so much. So I'm only gonna give this one a six out of ten. Um I think people will still enjoy it. Uh the overall uh, idea of the design is fine. I've definitely seen this concept before. It's been done before, but it's still kind of funny, like the Pokemon, the Ghastly Haunter, Gengar, and the whole Luigi's Mansion thing. So it, it's a decent uh, idea for a crossover, but their execution on it was not the best. So I kind of hope they don't keep going with that stuff. Anyway, the next two items, I'll just show them off at the same time, Pocket Pop figures. So we got... Jack Skellington, and Daryl Dixon. So, um, I like the Pocket Pop figures. I, I honestly like them better than the regular Pop figures, just, just because of their size. Um, pop figures do not have super high quality, and the quality kind of stays the same even though they're smaller because the normal Pops are just like terrible quality and have horrible paint jobs, so I definitely don't mind the Pocket ones. And uh, these are both fine characters. Um, Walking Dead is a popular series, so is The Night Before Christmas, so... Uh, Alright, those are pretty decent choices. Next, <laughs> I thought this was really weird, so I pulled this out, or I saw this, and I'm like, did they really put a condom in, in one up box this month? Like, is this really what they're handing out? And then I'm like, well, the theme is nightmare, and I guess unplanned pregnancy would be a nightmare, so I guess that's fitting. But then I turned it over and realized it's Pop Rocks in a condom wrapper. Not their best choice for rapper style. I think they maybe could have picked a different shape, but that's just me. So, condom wrapper pop rocks. Why not? Uh, the other thing about this that's funny is this is Easter candy. And um, I don't know if anyone knows, we're in October, and Easter was a long ass time ago. How do I know? Because there's an Easter egg on the front, and there's a goddamn Easter bunny on the back of it. This is Easter candy. Like, this is old as shit, man. Like, it, it's fine that candy doesn't necessarily expire that quickly, but don't like purposely date yourself by putting in Easter candy because then everyone knows it's old and it just seems like a bad choice. So I, I don't know, this is very strange on many different levels, but we've got a weird thing of Pop Rocks. Okay. Then we got a sleep mask, and this is of Boo from the Mario series. So this is something One Up Box has done a bunch before. And we've actually seen pretty commonly in boxes. Um, this is uh, one of the common items, much like a stress ball. We get tons of stress balls all the time. This is another one. Not as common, but we see them, we've seen them more than a few times. And honestly, who needs like sleep masks? Like, uh, I'm sure some people use them, but 
Most people probably don't. And even if you do, you probably don't need more than one. So I don't think sleep masks are always the best choice. It just kind of seems like filler that when they're trying to change it up just to do something cheap and like put a character in there. So it's fine, but just not very useful, not very practical, and it just seems too common these days to constantly put in sleep masks. Like I, I'd say one a year per box, if even that, but they've done it more than once. So there's that. Another one we've seen is these little cord bracelets. So these are usually for hikers. Um, it's just a bunch of cord wrapped around and it makes this bracelet. So you're supposed to be able to untie it in an emergency situation and use all the cordage for whatever you need. So these are like survivalist things and they're for hikers too. So we've seen these come up more than a few times. They're very cheap. They don't cost anything. And again, this seems like a weird choice. Um, it's fine. These bracelets are cool, but you probably wouldn't need more than one unless you're into like hiking regularly or you're like some kind of survivalist. But this doesn't really seem like it really fits like the whole nerd geek theme. And nor does it seem like it really fits the nightmare theme. Um, yeah, it really doesn't. It just kind of seems like it's randomly put in there. There's no brand, there's no packaging, there's no character tied to it, there's no real theme. It's just kind of there. So, alright, we got a bracelet. And then the last item, we got a poster, which I also wasn't a fan of for a few reasons. One, they folded it. Um, these kind of posters are super cheap anyway. They're not worth anything and they're usually never high in quality. So it's not a big deal anyway. But it just seems like, that it just seems to make it feel even cheaper than it already does. Like, even if someone really loved this poster and wanted to hang it up, now it has huge creases in it that you're always going to see for the rest of this poster's life. Like, I, I just think that's a poor choice and I don't like that they do that. They might as well have rolled it up because it's really creased. Like, you can see, like, really, like, white crease marks. So, uh, the print on this is somewhat similar to the shirt. It's just a crossover of, of a bunch of things. There's Luigi on there again. There's Daryl Dixon, and there's Nightmare Before Christmas, and there's the whole Pokemon thing in the background. But again, the quality on this is very poor. If you look at the characters, like you can barely see them, but Luigi and Daryl, like they're just very, very poorly drawn. It just looks like someone did this like on their computer that had just like kind of freehanded it, or just like almost like they drew it on their phone or something with their fingers. So. Just not really good in quality uh, overall, and the poster wasn't high in quality either. So that was all the items in the box, so let's go back through and talk about some value. So the shirt gets the standard 12 to 15, and like I said, rating on this is going to be 6 out of 10. I think many people still enjoy it, but I wasn't a big fan of the quality, so there's that. Then. Our pocket pops. These are five bucks a piece. Um, neither of these are particularly rare or anything like that, and they're just five bucks. You can get them at Target, and they're five bucks. So nothing special or rare about them. Five dollar little mini pops. The bracelet. This is going to be like, um, honestly, like probably like three or four dollars somewhere around there, give or take a dollar or two. These just aren't expensive. They're very common. You can find them very cheap online. You can find them in stores pretty cheap too. And without any kind of branding, like I said, it just really isn't much to it. It's just kind of cordage, like, wrapped around into a bracelet. It's more just the style of how it's wrapped around. So, really not worth much, and not really in theme either. Then, the mask. This is going to be like two or three bucks. Um, again, no branding. These are pretty common. They're pretty easy to make, so really nothing expensive about it. Our poster. Where did I put it? Oh. So this is only going to be a buck or two. There's nothing special or rare about it. Pretty much the cost of what it would cost to get this printed yourself. Very low in quality. And they did a poor job folding it, so wasn't a fan of that. And then our candy, our condom candy, which is super weird and super old. So this is only like 50 cents. Um, so on for the value, on the low end, it's going to be 29 And on the high end, it's going to be 35 So honestly, a rating on this box... I'm only going to give this like a 5.5 out of 10. Um, you got decent value. You got almost double what you paid for it. So you got decent on the value. But the quality and the picks of the items were not great. You got some very common pop figures, some very generic non-branded stuff, and a t-shirt that didn't really have a good design. So the only reason it gets a 5.5 is because you got decent value. So I don't think any of these items are bad. 
I think people would still enjoy them. There's just nothing special about them, you know? So it's, it's hard to compete with some of these other boxes that are putting in rare items, exclusive items, like hard to find stuff, like alternate paint jobs, blah -de blah But this one just kind of put in very generic stuff. So it seems like they're kind of backtracking a little bit. They were really progressing for a while and doing some good boxes, and now they've kind of taken a step back. I hope it's not permanent, and I hope it's not a sign of the future, because they were bad for so long, and then they started getting good. So I hope they pick it up again and do better quality designs on t-shirts and everything and try to find some rare items. So I, I wasn't really a big fan of this box. I'm pretty disappointed by most of the items in here. But again, uh, I didn't hate them. They just weren't really great. So uh, let me know what you guys thought about it. If, if anyone was amazed by the stuff, if anyone loved the design of the t-shirt or anything like that, let me know. Anyway, this has been One Up Box, t-shirt 6 out of 10. Box 5.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. Love you all. Peace.